everybody, welcome back. My name is Charles and thanks for tuning in. And I thought I should probably give people an update as to why I haven't, you know, had any updates recently. So this is going to be a very short video talking about uh, what's been going on, what the plans are and so forth, just to catch people up on what's been going on, where I've been for the last few months and whatnot. First things first, I have a job again, which is great. I actually am a level two technician, IT tech at a local place. Uh, well, it's regional, but the local headquarters is nearby. I don't know if I'm allowed to say much more than that, but we'll just say I, I got a job. So that's great. Uh, it took about six months to find a job. And I am happy to say that I was able to go get my A plus certification, which directly led to this job. So at some point we'll talk about that. Uh, besides that though, I've been trying to keep myself busy other than that. Um, obviously the job and starting the job and the, the prep work to get this job took a lot of time and energy. And now that I'm working, obviously I'm, I'm busy working, but I have been working on some things on and off and I've been taking some videos along the way just because you never know. I just haven't had a chance to do anything with them. So moving forward, you'll probably see just various in different states of disrepair kind of project stuff going on. For example, I rebuilt my back porch so I could turn that into a landing area for a dog fence area out back for the dogs to just go outside and run. Uh, did that. Um, some other stuff I did. Uh, I think I did some stuff on my car. I reorganized, uh, well, I rewired my tool shed uh, just as of last night, actually. I now have an actual light switch in there, which is great and dedicated power, not just an extension cord run off of this shed. Back to the bigger project at hand, for example, the Oxford House. Well, uh, oh, and uh, before I get to the Oxford House, that was another thing that I had go on. We had some meter box failure. That was fun. Uh, the One of the lugs broke in my meter box, and that took me down out of power for a couple days, and then there was some heck to be played trying to get things straightened, organized, redone, back and forth, and so forth and so on. But in that midst, I was able to actually have the power disconnected at my Oxford house. Now, I say that because, well, the house has never had power um, as far as that goes. But it has had power to where the old meter boxes were. The power came into the basement, into the old meter boxes. Now, the meters have long since been pulled, but there was actually live power going in. And with all the water damage over all the years, I wasn't about to touch nothing. So... In the midst of my electrical snafu over here at the house, I'd actually talked with the lineman who was helping me out with on again, off again, on again, off again, on again, off again, power wise, trying to get things uh, swapped around. And he actually ran over to the Oxford house um, as just, uh, I guess he was bored that night and disconnected power completely from the pole. So now the Oxford house has no power whatsoever. I can finally start tearing out all the old stuff down in the basement, start laying out new stuff, and that is one of the projects I've got going on this year, is to get that taken care of. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do over in that Oxford house. One is to stabilize the front, uh, or the first floor floors, I guess we'll call them. They do have a bit of a dip in them where the beams have sagged over time. Now they're not in any danger of falling or anything, but they're not level and that's no fun. So one of the things that I want to do this year is to get some beams and some walls and some jack posts and some jacks and stuff and just kind of slowly start getting those suckers back to where they need to be. And then we'll just leave some permanent bracing down there just to hold everything in place. But that is kind of a dance. You can't just jack the beam up and expect everything to go. Everything's got to go kind of with it, hand in hand, and the joists and everything. It's a big process. So that's one of the things I want to do. The other thing being the electric, I want to pick up a couple of panels, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, and start laying them out and try to figure out where everything's going to go and all that fun stuff. In addition to a lot of cleanup. There's a lot of cleanup needed at the house. Hopefully, with this new job, uh, I can afford to do that. But the other nice part about this job is it's a 9 to 5. Well, it's an 8 to 5. But either way, I'm out at 5 o'clock. And that means that not only is it only halfway to where I used to work before I worked from home, uh, it's right over the hill. It only takes me 20 minutes to get to work. And it goes right past the Oxford house, just around the corner, to go to work and to come home. And that means that coming into summertime here, I'll have time where I can actually get out of work at 5, swing by the Oxford House at 5.15, and work on things as needed before coming home for the evening, which is great. Also, uh, seems to be a very relaxed company to work for as far as that goes, and a very good group of people that I'm working with. 
And I'm hoping that time off will come uh, as easily as I'm hoping. And if that's the case, maybe the first, uh, somewhere in June, I may actually end up with a week off where I can do nothing but just straight up cleaning over there and, you know, get a dumpster in there and all that fun stuff. So those are the things going on. The other project I've got going on, I don't know if y'all remember, but that Jeep truck is still in the field and I haven't had a chance to go get anything with it. It's been kind of a, it's, I, I see it down there every time I'm down there and I can't quite get to it, but that changes, well, soon. Uh, tonight, actually, I'm going to go down and I'm going to see if I can get that thing jacked up out of the holes that they are in and get some blocking over the holes and maybe get this thing setting up on level ground. If I can get up on level ground, I might be able to actually drag the stupid thing out of there. That's all that I'm working on right now. And another really big project we've got going on is my dad is building an addition on his house, 10 by 18 with a two foot cantilever over a poured concrete foundation. We've been working on that and on again, off again kind of doing it on my spare time at this point. Now, my brother was able to help with the concrete. He does a lot more of that stuff and is a lot more familiar and experienced with that. And then we've gotten everything down and we started doing the framing. We did have a snafu the other day, but I'll save that for its own thing. And uh, long story short, we've got the walls up now. We just need to sheet them in, put the roof on, and then we can work on, you know, getting to the finish. We are going with a zip on all the exterior, so he's got time once everything's sheathed up to worry about his siding and things like that. It's not the end of the world. If anything, uh, you know, it takes a, a little while, but trying to get that thing done as much as we can. And that's been a big project. The thing with the whole working thing, as I was saying, is I get done at five, I get home at like five 30 and then it's like, okay, um, let's find something to work on today. You know, it's been the porch. It's been the, uh, the electric wiring in the other shed. And now I'm out of those projects. So that's why today, well, I guess we're just going to go down and we're going to see if we can't jack that Jeep up enough to get some boards. I brought some extra two by sixes back from the addition project. Again, long story. These were extras uh, and they're not full length, but we're going to double them up and we're going to see if we can get that Jeep high enough. Uh, short version is we're just going to try to jack up the frame to where the differential comes up just high enough so I can get a jack under that which will jack the axle and the truck all at the same time. And then maybe the wheels will be out of the holes and then I can put the boards over. So it's a whole big thing. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to talk about what was going on and where I've been and, and what's been going on and not going on. So the big thing though was getting the new job. Um, that was a long process. Maybe I'll do a video just talking about the job, um, not only the search for the job, but also getting the job and the prep and what the job's been like and all that fun stuff. Yeah, it's, it's been an ongoing process the last few months, and it's been a very hectic last uh, month and a half. So hopefully I get better at catching people up, and uh, I'll start hopefully getting some of these video things done. Like I said, you're going to see a lot of sporadic stuff bouncing back and forth, in between, out between, all those fun things. Hopefully it makes sense, but uh, just kind of fair warning, and if you don't find any of it interesting, eh, just, you know, don't watch it. And uh, anyway, hopefully we'll get back over to Oxford soon and uh, start making more progress there. Like, I feel like I'm ready to make progress, but I also am in that point where I'm just catching up on all the bills. Anyway, that's a quick update, and I uh, hope everybody else has been having a good spring so far, staying safe, and uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next one.